Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you how to fix the error code 0x870 x43 for the latest KB51716 update on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that I highly recommend is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, head over to Settings and afterwards click on System on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now in here click on Other Troubleshooters and lastly click on the Run button next to Windows Update. Now Windows will try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. From here on you can close this window, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run an SFC scan. To do this press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here simply type the following command. Now press on enter and you'll see that it will take a bit of time so don't lose your patience. Afterwards restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to change the software distribution subfolder name. Now to do this press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window make sure to copy paste the following commands that you'll see in the description below but copy each command one by one. So after pasting these two commands in make sure to copy the most important one which is the renaming procedure of the folder. And afterwards close by typing the last two commands and restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to restart the Windows Update service. To do this press the Windows button, type in services and then select it from the search results. Now in here scroll way down until you find the Windows Update service and afterwards right click on it and select the restart option. Alternatively you can also open up this service, then select the startup type to automatic, then stop the service and click on start once again to start the service. Lastly click on apply and ok to save the changes, restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.